Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card all about what's happening behind the scenes. So this is what you're manifesting, this can be anything from love to career, we're just going to see whatever wants to come out, okay? So I am going to put crystals onto the cards, so here are the cards now. We have group number one, group number two, group number three and group number four. So please choose your group and I'm going to put the crystals on now. Okie dokie, so these are the crystals with group number one, we have the Desert Rose, group number two, we have the Moonstone, group number three, the Rose Quartz Heart, and group number four with the Garnet. So please choose your group now, and let's get started. All the timestamps will be down below in the comments section and also in the description box down below. So let's get started. Okay, so starting off with group number one with the Desert Rose. Hello, group number one. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started and let's see what's happening for you guys behind the scenes. So the first crystal we have here is Desert Rose. So this is all about changes. This can be really good for hormonal imbalances. This is really good also if you're going through menopause, going through puberty, any kind of big change. This can also be really good for really big emotional changes. So just keep that in mind, guys. So you might be going for a really big emotional change and what you're manifesting is something big, emotional, can be even to do with like uh, hormone changes, that kind of thing, like anything to do with the body and things like that. So let's get started. Let's see what's happening for you behind the scenes. So starting off with the first card, which is the animal card, we have the crow, beautiful. So this is a really, really deep, deep card. And this is all about your psychic abilities. And this is the little crystal ball here. So this is like a really, really big message for you guys. It's kind of like a really big, deep message and it's all about kind of your psychic abilities what you're kind of creating let's put this guy there um i really feel like you guys are really creating some really something very very deep something really big and spiritual so what you're manifesting behind the scenes is basically this in this card is literally what this <laughs> what this card is about is psychic abilities spiritual awakening all that type of jazz so this could be something that you are actually manifesting but i do feel like it's something physical as well as something spiritual so we're going to see what this card is all about and let's see what else we have so let's do some more oracle cards so let's do these two okay so we have barnabas and the prince adventures discovery travel meeting destiny and then we also have past life patterns all chakras so definitely going through a very big shift, going through a very big emotional shift. It feels like something that you're creating that is to do with a past life. We do have 11 here. So 11, 11 could be like a really big synchronicity for you guys. I do feel like Okinai is, is basically, you guys are going through some really deep healing. So because you might not see your manifestation yet, it's generally because you're going through a really, really deep emotional healing. It feels like something that you've been waiting for for a very, very long time. And you could have been waiting for this since last year, the year before, three years, four years, 10 years. What it's doing, what the universe is doing here is it's actually creating space. So you're having to release everything that you've already known and that can be quite scary. So what I feel like you're doing is for some of you guys, you could actually be wanting to meet a partner, wanting to have a relationship. And that is what I see here. This is also to do with travel and discovery. So it could be something to do with travel. Um, it could be short distance, long distance. Obviously, when we're able to do that, I do feel like that's coming in for you guys. But it feels like something that's going to really, really meet your soul's needs. So it's going to be something really big. And you're going to be thinking, well, moving house probably isn't that big. But actually, that could be something that could really heal your soul and could really help you to, on your um, spiritual journey and increasing your soul's awareness in some way. And sometimes we can't always figure out what it is. But when we're in the moment, it can be really difficult to figure out what that is. But when you actually get to that point and you figure out what it is, you're like, oh, my God, I, I didn't realize maybe my past house where I lived was really affecting me emotionally and actually this new house is, is creating more space. So that's why I feel like it's coming in for you guys. Okay, so the next card's out. We have beautiful, we have fortune, the sun in Leo. So you could be a Leo sun. We have the sun in Pisces, vision, and we also have um, Mercury in Taurus. So you could have any of those in your chart, no worries if not. So this is showing me here that there's definitely some sort of energy of fortune and money coming in, some new vision, this new kind of 
adventure coming in for you guys. And it feels like something that you've been waiting for for a very, very long time. It feels like yeah, it feels like you'll be really, really wanting this for a very, very long time. And you've been manifesting it, you've been doing manifestations, you've been doing water manifestations, you've been doing all that jazz to kind of manifest this. It feels like something that you're waiting for that's gonna make you really, really happy. And it feels like something that's more emotionally happy than physically. So it could be something to do with like a partner, but also when that partner comes in, it's more emotional. So I do feel like for you guys, it's more to do with travel and love, I feel like for you guys. Um, it feels like something like that. There's definitely a restlessness though. You're kind of getting really impatient and you may be getting kind of irritated. You might be feeling really irritated, really anxious, really angry. That is all normal symptoms. A lot of these symptoms that we're getting are very, very spiritual. They are ascension symptoms, so they can be quite tough. Doesn't mean they're easy, but if you can't make any sense of what the symptoms are, a lot of the times it is spiritual. <laughs> okay, so I do definitely feel like, I feel like you've got a really strong vision of what you want as well. So keep holding on to that, guys, because it is coming in. Okay, so the next cards we have out are Tarot. So we have the Page of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Wands. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, so you guys are definitely getting passion. You're getting passion, you're getting money, you're getting all the above. So if you've been waiting for a partner, if you've been waiting for travel i feel like this is just all encompassing so you might meet somebody who loves to travel who has a lot of money that's what i'm feeling it could be you it could be you manifesting money and also manifesting passion i feel like this is kind of like if i could pick if i'm picturing it as like a gift and in, in that gift unwrapping it is a box and that box is just like everything and you know in like I'm getting the image of like sweet mixes. So you know when you do pick a mix, you get different types of sweets and you put them all in one pot. That's what it feels like. It's like you're getting lots of different things. So it could manifest for any of you guys. So if you're not wanting love, if you're not wanting money, you're like I'm good in that department, I'm good. But you want travel, that is this. You know, it's it's something here that you've wanted for a very, very long time. And it, the, I know this is obviously very vague. You're like Vicky, like, is it one or the other? And it's kind of all the things. It's all of all the things. So if you're whether you're wanting love, money, that is all coming and it also you could actually meet your person through money so if you're wanting a partner you could meet the person through money vice versa as well you could meet uh money through a person you know it could mean that you find a job through a certain person and it could mean that this new person coming in they definitely feel like somebody knows so it could be a friend it could be a new co-worker it could be a partnership it could be all three of those I'm actually hearing a neighbour, so for some of you guys you could actually be moving house quite soon. But for some of you guys you're definitely wanting to relocate or move yourself away from your original place of settlement, they're saying. So it definitely feels like there's some sort of strong movement. And I'm, I'm feeling really strongly connected to these flowers and they kind of remind me, of my, remind me of lotus flowers. And lotus flowers actually bloom in really dark murky waters and then they come out all of a sudden and bloom really like they're saying voluminously i don't know if that's a word but that's what they're telling me it's like boom like boom i'm here <laughs> so it's like yeah and i'm also hearing the word babe so i don't know if you if any of you guys are wanting to manifest a relationship but it feels like you're calling your partner babe obviously not everyone does that and if you think that's gross then yes that's fine <laughs> but for some of you guys you definitely are calling somebody babe and that's what i'm feeling okay <laughs> so we're gonna pull one more card for you guys we're gonna see what else wants to come through but this feels very positive very positive okie dokie so this says setting up parameters assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationship so that's really beautiful so right now you could be entertaining a toxic relationship you could be entertaining people who are not on your vibe so it's basically saying to look at these relationships and see if there's anything that you need to release we also have childlike devotion which says you are a multi-talented, complex being, embrace and love who you are. So you may think that actually, oh, I need to be perfect to manifest all these things. I have to do this, 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 and this. Whereas actually you just need to be yourself because at the end of the day, you're not gonna wanna change yourself because life isn't perfect. We're not perfect, we're human beings. We are all flawed in some sort of way, but not focusing on that. We're focusing on our, well, our positive traits. We're focusing on what we're really good at. And, and the more we enhance those by 
positively kind of tuning into our childlike energy, tuning into what it is that makes us happy, then the more we're going to manifest what we love, okay? So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you would like a private reading, my information is down below as well as my crystal shop down below. I will be bringing in some more crystals. So look out for those. And I'll probably be doing a sale before I bring in my new crystals. So if you want to get uh, notified when that's happening, then please follow me on my Instagram. I'm always updating you guys on what I'm doing with my shop. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys got the gorgeous moonstone. I love this. So this crystal, I'm really passionate about moonstone. I absolutely love moonstone. So moonstone is all about you coming into your feminine power, whether you're a female or male, doesn't matter. It's your feminine energy that we're really concentrating on. So it's you loving yourself. It's you um, blossoming. It's you really coming into a very strong solar plexus energy where you're not being kind of determined by anyone else's energy so just focusing on yourself so let's see what you are manifesting behind the scenes starting off with the first animal card beautiful that's that solar plexus energy i was thinking of so this is the phoenix so the phoenix is obviously about uh rising up from the ashes really bringing in that strong power so i really feel that for you guys is you're coming into a very strong energy of just empowerment and strength and just completely rejuvenating yourself and releasing anything that no longer needs to be there. So I really feel that's a really strong message for you guys. And you're just coming into a really strong energy of, I can do this, I can freaking do this. It's gonna be really, really fun. And I feel like for you guys, you might be feeling like, this is hard work. Like, why am I feeling all these symptoms? Like physically, emotionally, spiritually, why am I going through such a hard time? And it's because the universe is like, okay, we need to get you released, let's get all this stuff released so you can manifest what it is you want to manifest and then you're going to be set free, which is absolutely beautiful, okay? So let's see what else you are manifesting here. We have Keeper of Secrets, use your discernment, confide in a trusted friend, keep silent about knowledge and then we have Teach Heart Chakra Peridot. So with these cards here, it's showing me there's something going on with your heart chakra. You're really working on opening your heart. This could be because you wanna manifest love. It could be that maybe you need to keep part of your manifestation secret so you're not being affected by outward energies. And my throat is really hurting. So I feel like for you guys are speaking your truth, but also keeping things to yourself. It could be the opposite way. It could mean that you talk too much to people and like reveal too much and therefore you get affected by other people's energies and opinions or it could be that you don't reveal enough and need to really um trust people and that know you can talk to people and know that you will be supported obviously when you're when you're around the right people you will be supported um, and if you're not around the right people you know the universe is obviously telling you to kind of like let them go or really discern if they're the right energy around you so this is kind of what's preparing you for what's to come so i haven't really got a strong idea yet of what actually it is you're manifesting but this is kind of the brewing of energy it's kind of like it's cooking this is the cooking phase this is like putting all the ingredients in it's cooking it's mixing but it's not done yet okay that's kind of what i'm feeling and I really like this, like trust your trust your friends, trust people around you. And I feel like there's something that you're wanting, like a, a project, your project you're working on, something like that. It feels like a really strong energy around that. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We have charity. This is cancer energy. And then we also have the Leo energy. So for you guys, I feel like there's love coming in. That's one of the messages for you guys. If you're wanting a romance, if you're wanting more love in your relationships, that is what I'm feeling. It's also telling me, is this to do with them giving money or receiving? This is you receiving, okay. So it feels like you're going to get some sort of message about money that you're going to receive. And I feel like you're gonna keep this secret possibly because you don't trust other people. Because maybe if you come into a lot of money, people might start treating you differently. And it feels like that sort of thing. It feels like something that you're having to adjust so you can manifest this money. And it feels like something to do with secrets. So whatever that, however that manifests for you in this, this life right now, it's really being discerning and oh i think it's actually sharing money with other people as well and, and trusting those people so when you come into a lot of money sometimes as i say it can change the people around you because maybe they weren't the right people and it really shows up so this might actually this money situation here might actually draw out 
the nasty people around in your life and if you don't have any nasty people that is perfect because I feel like this is going to start to manifest it feels like you need to let go of toxic energies so you can bring in money that's kind of what I'm feeling that's that's the manifestation that I'm really feeling and I'm actually picking up on the uh, scene from Friends where they all get lottery tickets and then basically one of, one of the characters hides some lottery tickets for herself and it feels like something like that and I'm just going to ask why I'm getting that image in my mind. It's basically you're putting in money to get something out of it. So win the lottery, you know, you're putting something in to get something out of it. So what I'm feeling is you don't have to share what you want. Okay. You don't have to share it until it manifests. If that's something that you want to do and not to feel bad about it, because at the end of the day, if it's something that really means a lot to you and it feels safer to keep it a secret, then that is what is best for you. And also some of you guys might actually be, um, doing the lottery and that could be the next windfall of um manifest manifestations that's coming towards you okay so oh we have another card okay i did not realize that okay we have discovery so there's definitely discovering about yourself and i do feel like you're manifesting somebody who is abroad uh somebody who is far away from you could even be in a different state could even be in a different town it doesn't have to be really far away they could also be into egyptian like languages the kind of like the language the history of egyptian egyptian times you know that sort of thing or you could be into that you could be researching that right now um so this is the energy of uh mercury in sag so mercury in sag is a very open sign it's somebody who's really 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 open about other people's views so i feel like there's something that's changing within you where you're kind of more accepting of what you want and you're not judging yourself so much I really feel that lots of different things that you're manifesting guys so as this is a general energy we are getting lots of different messages which is great I love that yeah it's definitely something to do with money I really feel like you're going to manifest somebody um it's something to do with money and love so it could be somebody who's very well off it could be you're the one who's well off and you're manifesting somebody at the same time so if you're wanting a relationship i do feel that coming in there's definitely a change in the wind around your money and your relationships very similar to group number one actually but in kind of a different way in more an intense way i feel like for group number one it was kind of like general this is more money love that's it and also with travel a little bit but more of the travel is to do with another person not really i don't really see you guys traveling as much but obviously if that doesn't resonate with you totally just leave it and uh carry on <laughs> excuse me so i feel like for you guys the will of fortune is a really really strong energy this is you guys kind of keeping things a secret until things start to manifest and it doesn't you don't have to keep things a secret guys this is just kind of what i'm getting energetically the two of pentacles is showing me that you're weighing up the options between somebody and your money. It feels like someone comes in unexpectedly and you're single and you're waiting for somebody to come in. And then it's kind of like you're balancing the, your love and your emotions together. So it's kind of like, do I want, do I want this? Do I not want this? Do I want to kind of spend my energy more on my money rather than relationships? And if you're not single and you are in a relationship or you're not really wanting love, this could just be you're just weighing up like a job offer. It's something to do with weighing up options. And it does feel like the you are going to manifest something very, very strong in your relationships. It feels like community. Um, it feels like friendship. It feels like love. And it feels like you're able to be more open and free. It feels like for some of you guys, especially if you're an introvert, I feel like you're discovering um, more to do with what you want. And the more you're discovering more of what you want, you're able to be more free and not be so anxious about new situations. You're just accepting them. Accept, you're just accepting them as they come in and I feel like that's a really really strong message to some of you guys this is really really random but I'm seeing some of you guys like in a wheelbarrow and another person is like pushing you along and it's just like a really fun time and very childlike so I really feel that's a really strong energy that's coming and also I'm just seeing community and helping each other out so that's really beautiful if somebody is going to come along and help you out I feel so let's get you one more card okay Oh, yes. I love this card. Isn't that so gorgeous? So we have breakthrough to new dimensions. A new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to birth, burst forth of, into your consciousness. I love that. That is so beautiful. That's like literally the phoenix energy. A hundred percent. And then underneath we have inner desires. Set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. A hundred percent, guys. That is so positive. I love that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All my information is down below. I do private readings. I also have a crystal shop. So thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you soon.
Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what you are manifesting behind the scenes. So we have this gorgeous rose quartz heart. So for some of you guys, you could be manifesting unconditional love for yourself, for others. And also you could be manifesting a relationship and love coming in. So that's really, really beautiful. Just, I feel like just softening, softening energy. So lots of goodness coming your way. It's very easy and yeah, absolutely beautiful. So let's see what we have. We have the butterfly, beautiful. So very similar to group number two, you have some really big transformative energy coming in and it may not feel very comfortable. It may feel like, uh, like, you know, nails on a chalkboard. It could feel like, just, you know, brushing like a cat's fur the wrong way. It's kind of like that kind of energy of like, oh, this feels really uncomfortable, but it's all worth it because what you're gonna be manifesting is freedom. You're gonna be manifesting a new you and it's gonna, everything is just gonna feel much more easier. So it may feel really uncomfortable now, but it's gonna, it's gonna feel much more easier for you guys. I can, I can say that for a definite, that's, that's gonna, what's manifesting right here. It feels very, very strong, okay? So let's see what else is coming through for you guys. Oh, we have three crystal cards. I did not realize that. Okay, that's beautiful. So let's do the crystal cards first. We have travel, we have jade, and we also have bloodstone. So this is a lot of energy. You guys are definitely manifesting love. You're manifesting getting grounded. You are detoxifying your life and releasing all of that energy. Anything that no longer serves you is gone. She's gone. She's long gone. So definitely detoxify your root, heart, and sacral chakra. So that's your passion, your creativity. Anything that stopped you from being creative, that's that's gone. That's going. And I feel like you could actually be physically traveling as well. You could be moving house. Um, it does feel like something that you're just manifesting. You're really love. You really love. It feels like something that's really. It's really very similar to your energy that you're you're kind of picking up on right now it just really suits your vibration so as long as you're in the in the vibration of love and you're just really manifesting some just gorgeous energy that's gonna i just yeah i feel like there's some just some love here and i feel like it's very very positive okay so let's get another card we have into the woods stranger in a strange land new experiences feeling uncertain transition zone exactly so this can feel really, really uncomfortable. This can feel like, oh my Lord, what is happening? And this is something that is, is meant to happen. And 29 is obviously 11 and then that's two. So you could be manifesting a partnership and I'm getting really hot as I'm saying that. And that is just extra clarification that there's something here that you're manifesting duality. You're manifesting something where you get get it on both sides it's like the duality the balance it's like you give out and you you receive it's like you are getting what you've been giving out you're getting what you have been waiting for and the fact that you're feeling uncertain is clarification like that is definitely you're like vicky why is that a good thing and it's because when you're feeling uncertain endless possibilities are there so you may feel as if you want to change your uh, environment you may want to move house you may want to redecorate i definitely feel that for you guys it's definitely coming in and it could also feel you could be actually just going into a really new emotional phase so you could have shared everything that no longer serves you and it could be feeling really scary because you're no longer holding on to anything that's toxic and that could be really frightening because when you're used to something and you use especially if it's toxic it can be almost like a drug and sometimes coming off that drug is really difficult and if you feel like you're uncertain if you feel like things are transitioning 100 percent you're in the right place okay if you're not and you're already already on the other side of the transition and you've already manifested all of this perfect <laughs> okay so i definitely feel like love is coming in for you guys because that's right in the center okay you're really working on your heart chakra you're working, you're working on uh, feeling compassionate towards yourself, you're working on patience, you're working on connecting to other people, especially the um, the gender that you are attracted to, whether that be opposite, whether that be the same. It feels like whoever you are, have a uh, romantic connection to in terms of that gender, I feel like that is what you're working with, okay? That's what you're kind of working on right now. And it can be very tough, it can be really uncomfortable, but it's all worth it, guys, okay? let's see beautiful exactly exactly you're going to get a lot of this energy coming in this is very very grounding i feel like this is very very nurturing it doesn't feel toxic at all it feels really really gentle very nurturing very rose quartz it feels it feels like you're really going to be able to balance the both the masculine and the feminine here and with this negotiation, it feels like you're trying to negotiate with the universe. You're like, well, I'll do a little bit of emotional healing and then that's it. You know, that's it. I'm done, <laughs> you know? 
guys, you can't negotiate your way out of this situation. I know it can be difficult. I know it can feel really hard, but the best thing for you to do is just appreciate what you have right now and just take it slowly. There's no rush. And also when you get to that place, you're going to feel really in a very appreciative zone. You're going to be like, this was all worth it. All this detoxifying, all this releasing was so, 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 so damn worth it. And you have the nine, seven and five, so they could be really, really strong. Um, numbers for you guys five is about change number seven is about spirituality and nine is literally coming into that new environment you're just not there yet but the flirtation is really really beautiful we have Sag we have Libra and we have Leo so you could be manifesting uh, that sort of person we have Venus in Sag we have Jupiter in Libra and we have Moon in Leo so that's really really beautiful just a lot of like wholehearted balanced energies that are coming in and this could be in the form of other people it feels like balanced relationships are coming in for you guys and the more balanced you become in yourself the more you're gonna be able to attract this it feels very wholesome absolutely love it okay so tarot we have the knight of pentacles and the two of wands beautiful so you guys are manifesting somebody brand new so if you're wanting a relationship especially with a male doesn't have to be but if you are wanting to um, attract a relationship with a male that is coming in really strongly i feel like somebody could be coming in quite slowly it feels like somebody who's been waiting for you for a very low very very long time and you've been waiting for them and it feels like somebody who is worth your time somebody who is okay this person you probably waited for a very very long time you could have been single for quite a while just because this person is also on their same also on the same journey as you are and it feels like somebody who it's like the work the the time that you have been waiting for this person is worth the wait because it's a very long-term relationship okay so if it's not a relationship it could mean somebody coming in with a money offer it could also mean that you're getting more grounded within money so you're able to work on that root chakra energy and therefore you're able to the more self-love we have the more we can actually attain more money and not always you know sometimes we have to go through certain shifts and some things are out of our control but the more we love ourselves and love the position that we're in right now the more we can actually uh, gain more abundance and it's because of our energy shifting it's like the coming out of the lack mentality and this two of wands is really beautiful this is about you reaching out so it could mean that you actually uh, message somebody and, and it becomes like a really good uh, money like work partnership sort of thing but it could also mean that you're kind of in between traveling I feel like there's some sort of travel energy it could mean that this person is from like a foreign land and when I say foreign land it could mean a different country different state different town um, but it feels like you're also just debating on traveling or moving house I really feel that's very strongly okay so there are lots of different things for you guys let's see what else is coming in for you Okay, they want me to pull two okay so first one out gentle moderation yeah exactly i said patience take your time pressure from others or yourself can be released by re renegotiating what you're trying to accomplish okay so i basically feel from this card it's saying to just be patient and know that everything that you're manifesting is worth it okay it's definitely worth it you don't have to renegotiate anything that you're trying to accomplish i don't feel like that's the right energy it's kind of like basically saying that it's not important what you're manifesting it just feels like we have like the star here as well so everything is, is manifesting in its own time then we also have convey your meaning reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. So being really kind to yourself and not being hard on the fact that you haven't manifested this thing yet is because it may you may have to go through certain phases and you're also coming into this butterfly energy. So that can be really, really hard. I mean, going from a caterpillar to a butterfly, you can imagine how difficult that is for that animal because you're literally changing your whole structure of your body. Like that is difficult. It's like growing, it's like growing a leg or growing an arm. You know, it's probably not the most easiest thing to do, but it means that when you come out of that, you're able to be free. You're able to see more things from a different angle because when you're a caterpillar you're on the ground and when you're a butterfly, you're in the air. So it's basically like you're having to shift your whole perspective, basically flip your flip yourself 180 you know so that can be really difficult so, but I do feel like it, it's coming into a really beautiful energy of acceptance and love for yourself um so the car underneath says blend into the environment you have many skills and to, can fit into any situation 
take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. And it's also knowing that you have so many different skills as well, guys. You have so many different skills you can really attain into this energy and let them come through. Like, don't be scared to actually uh, bring these into your energy, okay? And also I'm seeing like listening in, listen into what your intuition is telling you or maybe listen to some music and really like let yourself go and just not think about it for a while because the more you let go of it, the more it's gonna come to you, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. I also have a crystal shop down below if you're interested in purchasing any crystals or crystal jewelry. So thank you so much for being here, guys, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. So today we have this gorgeous garnet. So garnet is really good for love. It's really good for love situations as well. When you're kind of not really in your own energy and you're struggling to focus on yourself, really, really good. Very good for grounding in love as well. Just in any sort of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be in family, it can be in friendships. If you're really struggling with that certain relationship, this can help ground you. And it's also going to help you manifest um, strong long-term relationships uh, whether that be with friendships or any any sort of bond that you're having that's really important to you that is a really good crystal for that okay so first card out we have is the elephants so this is really really beautiful this is manifesting passion this is manifesting drive and also helping you lead so for some of you guys if you have trouble being in the limelight if you have trouble asserting your power that is the card for you this is helping you to come into your own power come into your own energy and really manifest something that's going to really help you to get into that power whether it be releasing toxic energy whether it be realizing something about yourself you never realized and yeah i feel like that's a really really strong um manifestation coming in for you guys so let's look, look at the oracle cards let's see what's to come through okay so first two cards out three graces cooperative ventures with friends joy sharing new partnerships that are fun Wow, so this is a number one, so that's a really, really powerful card. So for some of you guys, as it says, new friendships, new relationships, long-term relationships, like the garnet is, very beautiful. We then have fertility, the return of life, health, life cycles. So two, five, and one could be a really, really strong energy. It could also be the number seven, could be a really strong energy for you as well. It feels like some of you guys could be pregnant as well, so just uh, watch out, obviously I'm not, if you are expecting a baby, I am sensing that. Obviously, if you're not expecting a baby, don't worry about it. Um, but it feels like you could also be really connected to the moon as well. And the moon could be a really, really good manifestation tool for you as well. So if you ever have thought about doing any manifesting on the new moon or full moon, then that's really good. Obviously, you don't have to do that. But if you get get drawn to it, definitely do that. And do some journaling as well, guys. I'm getting really drawn to doing journaling for you guys. And I feel like you guys are really working on your third eye. You're working with getting more connected to spirit. And I feel like for you guys, with this return of life, this is making me feel like some of you guys could be in a really strong health cycle, uh, could be mental health, physical health, and there could be friendships coming in that are actually helping you with this situation and really working on the emotions that could be connected to that because most health situations, not all of them, but most physical health situations are to do with your emotional health. It could be because you stuffed down or pushed down those emotions, possibly in childhood or in early life, it could mean that you could have manifested some physical ailments, but not always guys, but just be really patient with yourself because you have a return of life. So you're starting to realize, okay, what's this about? And really starting to question it and not be angry with it and really starting to be like, hmm, what do I need right now? What's gonna make me feel safe? What's gonna make me feel abundant? Beautiful, we have protection, root chakra. So for you guys, if you are very sensitive to energies, if you're very sensitive to the moon, this is a very good crystal for you guys. So if you're really sensitive to just outer energies and you have trouble kind of being your own energy, as I said, garnet's really good for that as well to do with relationships. This one's to do with just overall energy. So if you are in a toxic environment at home, obsidian's a beautiful crystal as well. Absolutely beautiful. Any black crystal I just recommend really good for protection. And also saging yourself is really good for you guys. So I really love that we have new partnerships and fertility. It's like there's definitely some sort of beautiful like relationship energy around you guys. Okay, so we have assertion. Beautiful, that's what I said with the elephant. Massive amounts of assertion. Okay, so for some of you guys, yep, there's definitely a relationship coming in. So your assertion is actually manifesting a new partnership and it's also helping you to listen more because you're not overthinking so much about what other people think of you. You have more time to think 
for yourself. You have more space to breathe within your mind. You know, it sounds a bit weird breathing within your mind, but it's like you have more space to think, okay, what do I want to say in this next sentence? Not like, oh my God, what are they thinking of me? It's like, you're really just focusing on what it is that you need to do right this second. What's going to help me right this second? We have two twelves as well, which can be really strong message for you. And yeah, we have one, four, seven, and 12. So really, really strong uh, numbers. I feel very, very hot with this with this uh, group. I feel very like, oh, I'm getting like hot flashes. So I feel like there's definitely a fiery energy. We have the sun in Aries. I mean, that is extremely, extremely fiery. Um, and we also have the moon in Libra. So that is also like very deep. Like there's some really deep energies here. We have Aries, we have Cancer, Libra, Pisces, Pisces. Like, wow, holy crap. So, so much energy around relationships. And there's definitely uh, manifesting somebody who's really empathic, manifesting um, your empathy as well, manifesting um, using your empathy. So giving out and rece receiving what you're giving out. And also in uh, there could be a few quarrels as well when you're manifesting this strong energy because the universe might be testing you on how much you have learned from you know being assertive. Like you're you're like okay, I'm going to be more assertive now, and then maybe actually environments that kind of manifest where there is an argument to do with friends or family but actually you're so much better equipped for it now because you've worked on yourself and also for some of you guys who are single massive amount of companionship coming in this is somebody who's long term this could be an Aries uh, Sag or um, Taurus yeah Taurus or Leo coming through as well so lots of fixed sign energies coming through okay so we have the ten of swords four of cups four of wands Ace of Swords. So you guys have got a lot of um, number kind of synchronicities. So four is all about um, stability. It's all about balance. It's all about strong foundation. So because you're releasing this energy, there's going to be some sort of new offer coming in that's going to be really, really beneficial for you. It's going to be somebody who's really good with communication. This is also you manifesting communication. So if you struggle with being assertive, that is something that you are manifesting behind the scenes. So if you're not sure when or how you're going to be able to manifest this, it will come naturally, okay guys, it will come through your situations where people are probably going to test you, but it's worth it, because at the end of the day, it's going to make you realise what it is that you need to work on, and when you do work on it, and you do get to that place of enlightenment, it's like, wow, 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 and it's like so beautiful, so just being really aware of that guys, and really understanding that everything is worth this journey, okay, so you may feel like this right now, you're like, I'm done, I'm done, but actually, being in that place is going to manifest all of this, okay, so you may feel a little bit hopeless, a little bit out of luck, like, why is this happening to me, why am I in this space, why can't I just manifest something that's what I want, you are, guys, it's just coming a little bit slower than what you want it to be, but it doesn't mean it's not coming, because there's massive amounts of stability here, and then you also have the Ace of Swords, so it could manifest in, in a message as well, coming from somebody, it could mean marriage as well, some of you guys who are actually expecting a proposal, uh, that's coming for you guys as well, this is really random. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys are eating yogurt. I'm really picking up on that or ice cream. I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but that was like really strong. Okay. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Number three, beautiful. So this is actually about speech, communication, creativity. So that could be what you're manifesting also. A full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty in the light of the moon. So literally, as I said, definitely moons are really, really good for manifesting. So I feel like that is a very strong message for you guys. So I feel like that's going to really heighten your intuition. Um, so if you're feeling a little bit down and maybe you're like, why can't I be intuitive? Or why does my intuition like fluctuate? That is very normal. Spirituality is fluctuating. It's not a straight route. It's not like money or any of that Capricornian energy, it's the Aquarius energy. It's very um, fluid, it's very random. You just gotta be really kind to yourself and know that when you are doing intuitive work, it can be very draining as well. So make sure to look after yourself and use that obsidian to protect your energy, especially if you're doing intuitive work. Okay, so we have back on track, beautiful. Be sure you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule or project you're working on, or could use some fine tuning. So this could mean that you guys are really manifesting um, a really big opportunity, um, something that you've been wanting for a very, very long time. Um, it could mean to just really slow down with that and not to release it yet and just be very kind to yourself and know that there is going to be a right time for that. Also, I'm seeing you guys wanting maybe to get a cat. I'm seeing like a black cat. I'm really seeing that very strongly. And a snake. I'm picking up on those two animals. Um, 
I'm also feeling for you guys with this best possible manner situation here. It's like just acknowledging that everything has its right timing and it will be released. It will be there. This will come and it's going to be the right timing for your soul. Okay. It's going to be the right timing for your soul's journey. It's going to be beautiful. Just be very patient with yourself. I know it's annoying, but it's going to be fine guys. And it's going to be the best possible thing for you. And you don't want to force it because when you force stuff, it's just not going to work out anyway. It's just going to crumble. So the more you are really patient with yourself, the better. Okay. I'm really picking up on these candles as well. So if you guys feel like you need some self-care, like some candles, do some self-care, just do whatever makes you feel grounded because I feel like you guys need to get grounded. Okay. Um, get out in nature as well if you can and really um, focus on your mind. So maybe do some meditation. I'm hearing group meditation. So if you can get together with a group or even on Skype or something like that, get together with a group and do a group meditation or some omming, chanting, that kind of thing. There's some drumming, you know, all that jazz. Love it love it so thank you so much for being here guys um if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below thank you so much for being here i love you guys and i'll speak to you soon bye